So when I took the focus off of other people in my life and I put that focus back on me, on bettering myself, on doing the things that I'm most passionate about, on doing the things that really light me up, my life completely changed. I attracted soul aligned friendships. I left friendships that no longer served me. I healed a lot of inner wounding and I left my hometown too and literally moved to my dream state. So making the decision to focus on myself, although it wasn't an easy journey, it was the best decision of my life. And in this video, I wanna take you through that journey of what it looked like for me to really focus on myself and to pour into myself and to heal a lot of inner wounding that was going on within me. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nat and I help you step into the next level version of yourself. On this channel, we talk all about mindset, feminine energy, and spirituality. So if that aligns with you, please hit the subscribe button. You can check out my courses, bundles, workbooks, or book a call with me at the link in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into it. So my journey into personal development and spirituality literally all started with one book and it was Law of Attraction by Esther Hicks. And one of my best friends gave me that book because I had just left a toxic relationship and I was just really not in a good place and starting to just feel very helpless with how I was going to move forward. And that book completely changed everything for me. It like opened me up into a brand new world, but I didn't really start my journey then. I was simply just learning at that point, but I wasn't really ready to actually start healing myself and start really looking within just yet. It took about another two years until finally I was like, okay, like I need to do something about my life because I don't feel happy. I don't feel good about myself. I don't feel good in my skin. And it felt like every day I was waking up and I didn't even recognize myself. I just wasn't connected with myself. I wasn't connected with my body. I was always giving my power away to other people. I was losing myself in relationships that I was in. And I found myself at a job that was just very, very unfulfilling something that I did not enjoy doing at all. And one day it was almost like just something just woke me up out of like the slumber that I was in for so long and something within me told me like I need to change like I can't keep trying to change everything in my external world like I need to look within and I need to really focus on myself I need to start doing what's good for me I need to start really taking the time to learn who I am and start doing the things that are good for me. Because I had reached a point where I was frustrated with myself. I was frustrated with where I was in life. And I knew that it was nobody's responsibility but my own. Which took me a while to come to. Because for a while, I was very much in a victim mindset and I wanted people to save me. And so to come to terms with the fact that I was the one responsible for where I was in life and it was nobody's fault or responsibility but my own, was difficult to come to but once I did come to that realization for myself and I started taking accountability for my life that's when things started to change for me and so I want to walk you through this journey and what it looked like for me and how I really was able to focus on myself and get myself to where I am now and where I am now is I'm living literally the life of my dreams like as cliche as it sounds like I feel confident in my skin I feel confident within myself I trust myself, I trust my body, I have a really strong connection with my intuition and I feel very connected to my body. I have incredible friends, I work an incredible job, like, and I'm not saying all of this to brag, I'm not saying all of this to, you know, seem like I'm perfect and I have everything all together, because I definitely don't. <laughs> I'm still on a journey, we're always going to be on a journey. But I just wanted to share a little bit more about my journey and where I started and what it all looked like for me because it didn't always look like this. And I just wanted to share that I'm not perfect <laughs> and that things haven't always been easy for me. And so let's get into it. So one of the biggest things that got me through a lot of really difficult times was writing. So I've always been a writer ever since I was little. And when I decided to go on this journey of bettering myself and bettering my life, I realized that I could use journaling, I could use writing as an outlet for myself. And that's exactly what I did. So I journaled a lot. These, this journal is from 2019. And 
like I said, I got that book, The Law of Attraction, and it just opened me up to a brand new world. And I just wanted to learn as much as I could about manifestation, law of attraction, all of that because it made me feel like I had control and I had power, because we do, we do have power in our lives. But at that time, I felt so powerless. I felt like a victim. I felt like things were happening to me. And so I wanted to get some of that power back. I wanted to bring my life back into my own hands. And manifestation was a huge, huge reason, like a huge help in that, and was able to give me my power back. So this journal is <laughs> like the first consistent journal i'm pretty sure yeah i mean i had journals before this but this was the first journal where i was like actually consistent and like i said this one's from 2019 and it's literally just filled with like scripting because that was like my favorite method because i like writing so every single day i would just script about the life that i envisioned for myself and that's how my journey started was scripting getting clear on who i wanted to be and journaling as if i was already her and i even journaled like affirmations too so like even this random page that i opened i am happy i am important I understand that other people do not determine your worth. My worth is found from within. My happiness comes from no one but myself. So yeah. And then from there, this journal, it's 2020. This was when, this was like the next step in my journey <laughs> after doing the scripting and the affirmations. And it helped for sure, but there was definitely deeper work that I had to do for myself. And I knew that. I knew that the affirmations and the scripting like wasn't enough. Like there was more that I needed to do for myself because I had experienced like difficult, toxic relationships in my past and I was holding on to a lot of trauma from that. So this one is actually, oh, I think I'm missing one journal from 2020. This one's 2021. So I don't know where the 2020 journal is. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, the scripting and the affirmations, like that was really like the first step for me, but I knew that I needed to go deeper within myself. So in 2021, I hired an EFT practitioner and she really helped me like release a lot of that trauma and reprogram a lot. And so I started working with her February, 2021. And my goal with working with her was to leave my nine to five because I had like a big goal for myself was to start my own business. And I had started doing like, you know, some things here and there, like to make money online. And at that point I was like, okay, I'm making enough online to quit my job, but I was terrified. <laughs> so I did the EFT tapping and that helped me a lot to like release the fears, release the anxieties. And I quit my job May, 2021. And I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> um, and a lot, shit hit the fan real quick. But yeah, anyways, I don't want this video to turn into like a 30 minute long video. So I'm not gonna go into like every single detail <laughs> about like my journey, but basically the EFT tapping is what really like helped me to heal a lot. And that was like my first step in like really focusing on myself and starting this journey for myself. And then from there, it led into more journaling, like doing a lot of deep work, like meditating, a lot of hypnosis too, as well. A lot of like, a lot of EFT tapping. I loved EFT tapping. I still do to this day, still love EFT tapping. And as a result of doing all of these things, like so much in my life started to shift. Not right away, it took a while. Some time for me to actually start seeing the differences like in my external world. Like I was feeling a lot better. I was feeling a lot happier. I was starting to build a healthier relationship with myself, but it took a while for that to actually show itself in my life and for things to actually change. And so slowly but surely things started to kind of change for me. I left a relationship that was no longer serving me. I started to meet some really incredible friends that were very, very soul aligned. Beautiful, beautiful friendships that we are like soul sisters to this day love my girls i started to manifest like more clients in my business started making more money and most recently i finally like left my hometown and came to san diego but honestly most importantly making that decision to focus on myself and to really start doing the things to better myself and to really release like what's holding me back at the end of the day like all of the things that happened in my external reality the things that like changed in my life as a result of that like is incredible and i'm so so blessed to be where i am but at the end of the day most importantly i created like a beautiful relationship with myself one that's like full of trust and full of connection and love 
and adoration. And like I said, like this journey hasn't been the easiest, but it's been the most rewarding. And it all started with just that one decision to start focusing on myself and to start prioritizing me and start doing the things that make me feel my best. And a lot of it did involve like setting boundaries with people and saying no to people and being okay with changing, being okay with evolving, which was difficult for me, but just reminding myself that it's safe to evolve like it is safe for you to evolve it's safe for you to change and just reminding yourself of that is really what's going to help you continue to do what's best for you so that you don't revert back to wanting to stay the same to make other people comfortable that's something that i really had to do for myself and that was why it was so important for me to find aligned friendships because I knew that if I were to still hang out with the same people, I was just continue, I was gonna continue to be the same person. It wasn't gonna change. I needed to find people in my life that were supportive and who were also going after like their big goals and their big dreams because that's the type of person that I wanted to become. Like, we become who we surround ourselves with. So yeah, that was just a little bit about my journey. I hope that it wasn't too rambly and I hope that you got something out of this. I hope that you enjoyed this honestly making the decision to focus on yourself is a decision that you will never regret and it's the best journey you'll ever go on the journey back to yourself the journey back to the truest version of yourself removing the societal conditioning and releasing the things that are holding you back and stepping into your greatness as cliche as it sounds so that'll be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye